You're listening to KEXP. It's 90.3 FM here in Seattle on Audio Oasis. We're in studio with Acid Tongue. You're going to play some songs for us. Listening to Acid Tongue on KEXP 90.3 FM on Audio Oasis. I really love her the 
That's the tongue on Audio Oasis, KEXP 90.3 FM, playing some songs off their brand new full length entitled Babies on Freak Out Records. Sounding fantastic. Thanks so much for coming in tonight. Thanks for having us. So crazy past couple of months, Upstream put out this new full length, did a huge tour throughout Europe. How are y'all maintaining right now? We're tired. <laughs> We're really tired. How's the, how was the experience uh, doing the tour throughout Europe, awesome. all over. Awesome. It's like they really embrace new music quickly out there, and I don't know why it's caught on so quickly out there, but the shows are consistently packed, and people are really receptive, and even if they don't speak English fluently, they know all the lyrics. So it's really nice to come out and get that kind of love and support out there. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. I, I was peeping some of your uh, Instagram shots. I mean, some of those shows just looked like off the hook. Yeah, it was pretty sweet. And I know I see that a lot with Seattle bands, you know, especially when they go to Europe, it's just jam packed. Like there seems to be a great reception. People seem to have a deep knowledge of what's going on here over there. Definitely, definitely. They've really dialed into what our scene is all about before it's even broken. Do, so. you, do you feel like that helps invigorate what you're doing here and then moving forward with new music? It definitely legitimizes what we're doing. I think we look a little bit less um, like a local band, and it starts to really feel like we're getting a consistent vibe to people, and our shows have gotten tighter, and I think when you have that support, you just end up playing better. So even on a bad night, you know, there's 20 people in the room, you're still gonna play as if there's 2,000. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, so the first song you played, uh, Humpty Dumpty, mm -hmm. One of my favorites and a great music video for that as well, which you just released. Yes, yes, Stephanie did a good job on yeah. that. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. Uh, I read this quote, though, talking about Humpty Dumpty. Uh, the truth is we're all tender-loving, <laughs> wine-gurgling, lonesome, depressed animals chasing what flees. So what are we chasing here? What's fleeing right now? I, I mean, I think people always want what they can't have. You know, the grass is always greener. I'm one of those guys that loved living in Seattle but has always wanted to be somewhere else, you know, and I think some people... It's the same thing when they're dating or in relationships. You're always kind of trying to achieve something 
bigger than where you're at. And if you're not, I mean, hopefully you're content, you know, or you're just lazy. <laughs> Aren't we all just a little bit lazy? A little bit lazy. Yeah, well, I, I, and some of the interviews I've read too, you seem to maybe uh, play up what you call the mundane aspects of life or the record. But I think a lot of the record sprinkled in and there's a lot of deeper meanings or important moments in those little interactions that maybe aren't ex explicitly stated, but is that what you were trying to go for in this Definitely, record? yeah. I think when you start touring, especially, you know, there's you play for an hour each night and then you have to kill 23 hours until the next gig. So you really learn how to enjoy the, the downtime and not just squander it. And I think we've gotten a lot better at that as, you know, a band and as friends, just being a little bit more faithful to like taking taking in the moment you know being in the moment not just being on your phone every day and screwing around is that leading up to a second record <coughs> right now yeah we actually are almost done with the second record oh, so excellent. i want to be at that level where we're just putting stuff out as quickly as possible and alessio and i actually had a couple a little time off in paris and we cut an ep on tape as well a couple of weeks ago so we're gonna have a bunch of stuff to put out next year yeah you guys seem to be working at a Pretty frantic pace, lots of touring, got a tour through the southern U.S. coming up. Yeah, yeah, we got to pay our bills, man. <laughs> New York's not cheap. <laughs> so I've heard, so yeah, I've heard. Yeah. So I noticed also on, uh, there was a couple interesting little pieces on the band camp. Uh, one at the very bottom said, uh, strange spiritually driven parenting techniques. Uh, how, how would you describe <laughs> my that? mom hates that I used to tell people that like her and my dad would feed me acid as a kid which is just kind of a joke she works at a hospital in Kirkland she's like why would you tell them that what's wrong with you not a tiny regimen yeah. of acid I mean they were just weird parents you know that's as much acid as I needed <laughs> and there was another part too uh, <coughs> for the intro the first track uh, it took audio clips from this, I guess it's like an educational film called uh, Age of Turmoil from yeah. 1953. I actually found it on YouTube and I was watching it. It's like this very weird black and white. It's strange. That like very stern voiceover <laughs> following these teenagers. And yeah. How did you, A, how did you find that? And then how and why did you decide to incorporate that into the record? A big theme of the record is puberty and adolescence. And it's why we called it Babies. And I, that's why I was, you know, the mundane times in life, but I'm also talking about how awkward people can be. And that, that documentary just fit. Ian was digging through these sound clips and just found something that matched up with our record. And so we cut those up and Jason threw some weird trippy keyboards all over it and inserted that all over the record because it fits it thematically and it actually is a great intro to each song that comes after. It's really talking about what's going to happen next. Yeah, I thought that was a, <coughs> that was a really creative way to to start out the record instead of just going into the song kind of sets the tone and mm -hmm. the mood and I feel like there's a lot of little I don't know pieces Easter eggs Easter within, eggs yeah those Easter eggs yeah we're all about that I mean I want to make something that's just as enjoyable to listen to at home as it is to see us live so I think you have to kind of turn it into more of an art piece and not just you playing the songs it helps on acid too yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> if you're into that, it's on the vinyl that comes with the vinyl. Yeah. Download and maybe a little tab. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, our special brand. <laughs> you got to make money somehow. Make it's money, all about man. merchandise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't For tell sure. the man. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we really appreciate you coming in. Um, check out their new album. It's called Babies. It's on Freak Out Records. They're going to play a couple more songs for us here on Audio Oasis.
You're listening to Acid Tongue here on Audio Oasis. It's KEXP 90.3 FM.
You've been listening to S-Tongue Shredding here on Audio Oasis KXP 90.3 FM right here in Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.